Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the weekend and week ahead brought to you exclusively by Flyer in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Um, bit of a change in the way now this weekend and into next week. Um, I did say it was on its way and it looks like things probably aren't as straightforward for flying as they have been. Scatter showers developing through the course of Friday. More showers in the west on Saturday and then we go into more widespread thunderstorms Sunday which sets us up for a more mixed week next week. There will be some flying to be found, it's just that we've got to be a little bit more cute on uh, picking our days of flying. And if you want to be more cute on picking your days of flying then you need to get yourself along to Aviation Weather School. I'm delighted to announce that my next classroom based course is going to be held on Saturday the 16th of September here at Weather School HQ in Wombourne. You can see there the uh, postcode of where it's going to be held. It'll run between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Um, always great fun in the classroom. So do come along, join your fellow pilots, and uh, I will show you how to spot those all-important weather windows and get you set up for your autumn and winter flying. Just go to weatherschool.co.uk. You can book your place now. If you just scroll down at Weather School, you'll see on the right-hand side here, it says Aviation Weather School Part 1 Classroom Course. If you click on that link, then you will be able to book your place now and it will be absolutely super to see you there on Saturday the 16th of September. Seems a long way away but it's not. It'll be here before we know it. Um, also just a reminder that my free weekend forecast email goes out on a Friday so if you'd like to receive that completely free of charge your email addresses stay with us we don't do anything with them um, and it enables me to get you up to date really what the weather forecast for the weekend is. If you're not getting that yet, just send a blank email to the address you see on the screen there, aviationweather-subscribe at weatherweb.net. OK, this is how things are shaping up then for, um, not Wednesday, we want Thursday, don't we? It's going to be one of those days. There it is, Thursday. This is uh, today. Um, looks like it is going to be generally fair for all of us. Again, bumpy because of how warm it's going to be. One or two showers developing here and there. Um, most are concerned about these across southwestern parts of Ireland, which may well just turn things marginal at times this afternoon, but for most it is going to be fair. Again, um, pretty strong winds on eastern coasts, exacerbated by the sea breeze. I say strong winds, it's only a 15 knot easterly or so. Now for Friday, um, it looks as if we stay generally dry. Again, a mostly fair day. However, notice here a few showers just developing out west. A few showers developing across Western Ireland. Now, these briefly make it marginal if you get caught by a shower. But generally, it's fair. Bases around 4,000 feet tops, about 7,000 feet. Out west, Ireland, I think 3,000 foot bases here, 12,000 foot tops. Things just indicating that change coming into the weekend. Now, full Saturday, notice the troughs down towards the southwest, also across Ireland. So a bigger area of showers developing across Ireland, possibly into southwestern and western Wales, western and southwestern parts of Scotland during Saturday. Some QNIMs to be found as well, 3,000 foot bases, 15 to 20,000 foot tops as that more thundery stuff comes in. And as I say, just a warning of QNIMs here. Elsewhere, it does look generally fair once more. 4,000 foot bases, 8,000 foot tops, light winds and some decent flying conditions. That sets us up, though, for something more notably thundery going into Sunday. Now, always hit and miss when we're talking about these storms, but it does look as if they're going to be tracking their way eastwards and northwards as cooler Atlantic air comes up against this hotter continental air that we've had. So I think I've got to say Western Scotland, Eastern Ireland, much of Wales, the Midlands, Southern England, Northwest England, do look as if we are going to be affected at times by these thundery showers. And I'm going to go non to marginal conditions because of those. QNIMs as well, bases 3,000 feet, tops 25, perhaps 30,000 feet. A bit of a question mark, so do just keep an eye carefully on the forecast. Always is when we're forecasting thunderstorms, but just be aware of it. Eastern parts of Scotland, eastern England, starting the day fair. Those storms may come in later on, and it probably improves across western and southern Ireland and possibly southwest England later in the day. Now, Monday... Storms have cleared away, early morning mist and fog patches, and then generally it looks like being a fair day. Um, 
Temperatures uh, getting quite warm again, so back to the thermic conditions again. Base is around 4,000 feet, tops at 10,000 feet. Just watch for some low cloud perhaps across eastern coast of Scotland and eastern England. And then Tuesday, well, low pressure may move in during the course of Tuesday. Again, quite a bit of uncertainty over how this develops on Tuesday. But at the moment, I'm going to say that low may be wanting to move into the west. My suspicion is this looks far worse than it actually will be. I think we've got showers across Scotland, across much of western England and across much of Wales. But I think that eastern areas may actually be mostly flyable, although some showers coming in later. Also, I think Wednesday here looks a little too pessimistic. I think heavy showers again, probably across Scotland, probably across Ireland, Western Wales and South West England, possibly North West England, but Eastern areas, I think, much better than we're showing here. Um, we'll keep you updated, of course. And don't forget, over at uh, WeatherWeb, uh, we also have our aviation forecasts there. And also, um, I do these videos every day, is what we call the fast forecast, so you can check in on those as well. That's at weatherweb.net. OK, I will leave you with that for now. Don't forget to get yourself booked at Aviation Weather School. I'll show you how to plan uh, five days in advance, build your weather confidence and basically give you aviation weather the way that it should be so you can make confident weather decisions yourself. Um, it's booking up already. I think we've got four places remaining. So if you want one of those, uh, do book now and I would be delighted to see you on Saturday the 16th of September. OK, have a great uh, weekend of flying. Don't forget I'll be with the flyer team at 7.30 tonight. But for now, whatever you do, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.